Hey guys, Brad from SimpleGuitar.com here. Now, quick story. There's this really common pitfall that a lot of musicians fall for that I don't want you to fall for. And it's something that I just saw because I was just recently asked to judge our local high school's Sterling Scholar Competition. If you don't know what that is, uh, it's high school seniors and they get to, uh, they can win an award of being a Sterling Scholar and then go on to compete at higher levels. Anyway, I was asked to judge that. And part of that included listening to people play their instrument and then interviewing them. Now granted, everybody who was applying for this came in and they played their instrument wonderfully. Everybody was great. Uh, but I asked everybody the same question. I asked them if they did two things. One, if they ever wrote music, or two, if they improvised, okay? Because here's the thing. One thing that a lot of musicians find themselves doing is always playing other people's music. And this is this is good. I mean, I'm not one of those guys that said, oh, you should never play songs. That's a waste of your time. No, you should play songs. That's why we start playing guitar is because we hear songs that we like and we want to play, unless you're a total weirdo, right? But I also think it's critical to your development as a musician to also write your own music and to learn how to improvise. And the reason for that is because I feel like that's the other side of the coin. Like if you have a coin with heads or tails on it, heads would be playing other people's music or in a lot of other instruments cases, sight reading, because there are so many other instrumental musicians who spend all of their time sight reading sheet music and playing specific pieces and competing. And that's the entire world that their thing is built on. And they never write their own music and they never improvise. And I think that's a shame because I think that those two skills of creating your own music versus playing other people's music is the other side of the coin, right? I feel like you're only experiencing half of the magic of music if you're only playing other people's music. Anyway, so I asked every single one of these Sterling Scholar people that were coming in to get judged, I asked them, hey, do you write your own music? Do you improvise? Do you jam? There was one who had played with a band before and was aware of some stuff, but otherwise nobody wrote their own music and nobody improvised. Everybody came in, they handed us the sheet music that they were playing, uh, they played it wonderfully, it was awesome, but it's just kind of always sad to me when I hear people only are playing pre-written music, because here's the thing, that music had to be created by somebody, right? And great composers like Mozart and Beethoven were known for their ability to, to improvise, right? They weren't playing jazz, but they were improvising, especially Mozart. He was known for that. And so I find it sad that in a lot of musical circles today, people are getting only half the equation, right? They're only playing other people's music and everything is based on that. And there's not a lot more songwriting or composing and a lot more improvisation because I think that that adds something to everything. So here's what I want you to do. Anytime you're learning something new on the guitar, anytime you learn a new chord, anytime you learn a new scale, anytime you learn a new song, I want you to find an element of that song and I want you to steal it. I want you to use that in your own songwriting. Now that does not mean I want you to just blatantly copy, but I want you to look at, hey, I really like this part. Why do I like this part? And how can I use it in my own music? I think that everybody from the beginning should start writing music and should start improvising. I had a kid in a lesson today, his first formal lesson. He's never been in guitar lessons. He was in here today and we got him improvising. Now I just had him do two notes. He played an E, oh, he just played an E on the first string and a G. And I just gave him those two notes and he would just improvise. And he was making up his own solo just with those two notes, being creative with it. Because here's the thing, on top of that, we played a song, okay? We played someone else's music, but 
that's only half of music. So if all you've been doing up to this point is playing other people's songs, it is time right now for you to learn how to write your own music, how to improvise, and how to be creative. Because every single person who plays can be creative, can write music, can improvise. And it just takes a little bit of, you know, breaking into how to do that. So I think in some future videos, we're going to break down a little bit more about that to help you along that path. Because I think that's one of the most important things that every guitar player as you're learning can do is make sure that you're writing music and you're improvising. And here's the cool thing. With every new chord you learn, with every new scale you learn, with every new thing that you learn, you're going to be able to find more inspiration and be more creative because you're doing more creative stuff and you're thinking about things in a different way and you're doing more than just playing other people's music. Even if your goal is not to tour the world and release albums and all that stuff, you need to flex those creative muscles. You need to be creative and do some songwriting and do some improvisation. It will transform everything else about what you're doing when you're playing other people's music because you're going to look at things differently. So that's my tip for you this week, guys. I want you to start looking at how can I start writing my own songs if I'm not already or if you are writing your own songs, how can you go write more? Or if you haven't ever improvised or done a solo, how can you start improvising and soloing, even if you're just using two notes like I showed? Part of being a good musician is creating music. Making music isn't just playing other people's music. You need to create your own music. So that's it today, guys. Go do that. Go make some dang music. Be creative and have fun and it'll stretch you. Now, if that was helpful for you and if you want some more ideas about how you can do that, I want you to go get another free gift for you that I have at my website called the top 10 things to learn on guitar first. It's a 17 page guide, 10 things that will get you a lot of bang for your buck when it comes to playing guitar and learning early and help you with improvising and songwriting and stuff like that. But on top of that, once you go get that guide, I want you to go check out this next video on how you can be an instant songwriter by using Drop B Power Chords to start writing your first song today. So go get the top 10 things to learn on guitar first, and I'll see you in the next video.